Hello and welcome to the Organic Beehive, where today I'll be doing more of a slideshow presentation that's all about why buying organic is so important to me. And I thought it was important to share why organic is such a priority for us because it'll give you a little insight into why you know we garden the way we do as well as why we use certain ingredients for our recipes that I will be sharing in the future. So quickly, I think it's important to say what organic is. And so what I mean by that is that, you know, the produce is not harmed by any chemicals being sprayed on it. And I think that many people consider the most common spray to be glyphosate. And why do I think it's a well, one, I am very passionate about health, but honestly, because it's all around us. It's in our food, water, yards, parks, schools, and more. So first I wanted to talk about the history of glyphosate. So it was originally patented as an industrial pipe cleaner and Monsanto discovered that pipe cleaner could be used also as a great weed killer. So it was brought under the name Roundup in 1974. And later in the 1980s, glyphosate started being used as a drying agent. And they would use this seven to 10 days before harvest for certain crops. Now, as a mother, I want to know what safety studies have been done on glyphosate. Now, Monsanto did do testing, but it only lasted three short months. And a former executive of Monsanto states, you cannot say that Roundup is a carcinogen. We do not have the necessary testing on the formulation to make that statement. Washington State University researchers did, however, expose pregnant rats to glyphosate, and more than 90% of the rats' great-grandchildren developed one or more diseases, ranging from tumors to prostate disease to ovary disease and major birth defects. And many scientists and researchers believe that glyphosate is disrupting our ability to thrive and even survive as a species. There is scientific evidence to show that it is harmful at ultra low levels at 0.1 parts per billion, while many other popular foods tested measure 289.47 parts per billion as high as 1,125 parts per billion. And I do understand that our country's regulatory agencies have approved of glyphosate being used, but the reason that I'm skeptical when I see that some of the positions held in Monsanto also hold positions in the federal government. There's also thousands of cases in court for Monsanto, and the first case was with Dwayne Johnson, who was awarded $289 million after using it as a former school groundskeeper. He has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And just as heartbreaking as that, I have come across many accounts um, on Instagram of moms who have turned their health around, specifically um, around glyphosate, um, because their children have developed that same cancer. The negative effects glyphosate has is it removes minerals for the body. So think about it. It was originally used as a pipe cleaner and pipe cleaners are supposed to clean out the mineral deposits in your drains, same as your body. It acts as an antibiotic and disrupts the microbiome, so it's really bad for your gut health. It's an endocrine disruptor, it causes cancer, 
and it stays in your body. And with each new exposure, it just increases your toxic load. So it bioaccumulates. Now I never want to instill fear, but sometimes topics are just important to talk about. With that said, I always promise to provide a solution when it's available. So if you're concerned about whether you have glyphosate in your system, Great Plains Laboratory has a test that you can do called the glyphosate test, and I'm not affiliated with it. And all you need is a physician to sign off. They'll send you the test and you mail it back to the company. Let's talk solutions if this is something you are worried about. About. First, start being your own food detective. Always read your food labels and the ingredients. So I always make sure that the food I'm purchasing has the organic certification on it or the non-glyphosate certified label. The biggest complaint about going organic that I get is it's expensive and it's kind of a huge reason why I like to garden, but it's not plausible in everybody's season of life. So you can concentrate on buying organic with the 12 most commonly sprayed produce. So the environmental working group comes up with their dirty dozen list every year that you can easily look up. And this year includes strawberries, spinach, kale, collard and mustard greens, nectarines, apples, grapes, cherries, peaches, pears, bell and hot peppers, celery, and tomatoes. And another thing to consider when buying organic is it's more than just vegetable and fruit because as I said earlier, glyphosate is also used as a drying agent. So the products that use glyphosate for that purpose are wheat, barley, beans, flax, lentils, oats, peas, sugarcane, canola oil, and soybeans. And for a more in-depth look on glyphosate, be sure to check out the blog post that I've written up with more information, and that is listed in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.